gone on Legends, Chris and Cal from the South Coast Van Fit Outs. Uh, today, we've got a Max Air with us that we're gonna be installing on a customer's van. Um, and we're gonna take you through how we do it. So pretty much, there's a thousand ways to do this. Uh, this is the way that we find to be the best. Um, we've got a 100% success rate so far, touch wood. Um, and yeah, we're gonna take you through a bit of an unboxing, show you what this guy has, the tools we use, and then we're gonna get up there and, and take you through the uh, whole process. Hey guys, so before we install this, uh, I'll go through some of the pieces that you get inside the box. Uh, this is, firstly, we've got the actual fan itself. This is what goes up on the roof. Um, this is so you can sort of see what's going on there. This is inside the van. Uh, we'll go through that later when you install it. You put your bag of instructions. Definitely read those before, even though we're doing a video on how to install it, still read the instructions. Uh, you've also got different um, gauge screws for different parts of the process uh, and some lugs there. Uh, you've got your remote, so you can put this bad boy on the wall once it's installed. Um, and you've got the flange that goes on top of the roof, also with the bits that the fan actually goes onto. And then you've got the garnish, as they would say in the instructions, or as we call it at South Coast Vans, the trim. These are some of the tools that we use when installing the Max Air. Um, you can find most of these at your local Bunnings. Uh, we've got a jigsaw with a metal blade, cutting blade. Uh, we've got a rattle gun with a Phillips head. We've got a normal drill with a pre-drill and also a bigger bit for the actual, when we're going to do the Max Air so we can get the jigsaw bit into the roof. Uh, we've got our sealant, a bit more extra just in case. Uh, we've got a square just so we can get a nice straight line when we're up there. Uh, we've got our knife just to open the box with it and also cutting tape and little things like that. Uh, we've got a marker so when we do our measurements we can we can mark everywhere and trace it around. We've got our muffs, safety first, and we've got our tape. And also, which I haven't got here, is we have our safety glasses, which you'll see me using a bit later. Before we install the Max Air today, I'm gonna to take you through some of the features that this Max Air Fan Deluxe has. Um, so, it's got a 10 speed motor from low to high. Uh, it also has three different settings. So right now, it's in ceiling fan mode. So when it's sitting up on the van, you can still use it just like a, um, a ceiling fan at your house, um, still circulates the air. Uh, then once the this goes up, um, it also is protecting from the rain, so no rain can get in. You can still use it in, in the um, really bad weather. It's got um, two twin lifting arms that stop the vibration in really bad weather as well. Um, why, the, why it's up, you've also got um, air coming in and air coming out. So if you've got like the window open in your van, this thing is like sucking the air out or it's bringing air in. It's getting a really nice ventilation inside your van. Uh, and we really, really recommend these in every van that we do. We put one of these in. It's just such a good, such a good feature for a van. And it's in that hot weather in Australia, this is the thing you want. All right, guys, now we're getting to the pointy end of the stick. We're gonna start installing this guy. Basically, what you wanna do is you wanna have a look on top of your van and underneath, to make sure there's nothing funky going on. Uh, so I can see under here, I wanna stick in between my ribs of the van. Um, and in this case, our customer's wanting to put uh, long surfboards on the top, so we're gonna offset this max air a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do is, here. And I'm going to measure off a rib because I know where I'm going to go here. So I'm roughly going to get this up, make sure it's all going to work. And I basically going to get a pomo and lock slightly where I'm going. And then I'm pretty much just going to measure off this rib that's parallel the whole way down. And I know there I'm 60. And I've got 347, so what I'm going to do is center that, do a pilot hole through the middle, so when I jump up top, I can easily measure it and start cutting it out. So now I've drilled the hole from the underside, um, I'm going to jump up top, just being careful where I'm standing on the roof, you don't want to dim your roof or anything. Um, so now I can trace out the max there using that center line so I know I'm right from the bottom side. Um, and then we can start cutting this guy out. So pretty much, I grab my tape, and I'm gonna just use my center line here to make sure everything's nice and center. 
my perfect there, got about 162 and 162. And then pretty much on the actual placement, I'm working off this rib from the underside. So I can just measure here, I've got 30 mil there and 30 mil there. So now I can trace this guy out and uh, pre-drill my corners and start cutting it. So, I'm gonna line that. Come over like this. And this is the underside. I want to make sure that when I pre-drill, I'm pre-drilling on the outside of that. Um, there is a little bit of play in these as well, so um, it doesn't hurt by making the cutout like three or four mil bigger, so you have a little play here and there. So now, I'm gonna change my drill over. Get the first one done. First, TPE. follow this around the whole way and then we start cutting it out. Pre-drilled all my corners um, and then I'm going to give it a big blow off and a vacuum. Uh, you don't want to leave any metal shavings on your roof because uh, you don't want to, you know, you want to try and prevent rust as much as you can. Uh, so once I've done that, I'm going to get my tape and I'm just going to try to tape the outline um, and then we can start cutting it out. Guys, once it's cut out, you're gonna grab your flange, make sure it all works, sit it in there. You should have a little bit of play, but basically, once you've sorted that out, um, big clean again, peel your tape off, and some tools that we didn't mention in the tools to have, go us, is uh, some primer for your raw edge, uh, to seal all the metal up, make sure there's no rust and a file to make sure everything's nice and clean, all your edges are nice. So what I'm gonna do now is give this guy a bit of a file, paint these edges up, um, and then we can start fitting off the flange. Let's do it. basically before we fit it off uh, we want to make sure we have these little metal clips on the actual flange itself sticking out to the side of the vehicle um, basically when you put the actual unit on it will screw through the side through these clips to give it a bit of structure uh, so yeah just as I'm doing here you want to screw these on to the side so make sure these clips on the side all right before we screw it on you'll notice in your bag of goodies that there is three different types of screws uh, you have the biggest, longer, kind of skinnier screws. Uh, these guys are what we're going to use to actually fit the flange to the roof. You'll have four of these white tip screws. Um, this is what we use to put the garnish underneath, um, so the screws kind of sink in with the trim. And then we have four of these fatter gauge uh, and a lot smaller screws. This is what we use to actually put the Max Air into the flange. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pre-drill my corners uh, and then I'm going to follow suit and go and pre-drill everything else. I'm going to make sure we have a 3mm drill bit on our drill and we're going to do the corners, put a screw in and then follow suit. So now 
now when I go and pre-drill everything else, we know everything's gonna be in the right spot. So when we glue it up and screw it off, everything is Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna go through now and do the rest. all my holes, I'm going to leave my corners done and I'm going to tape around um, so when we do the silicon join, silicon's not going absolutely everywhere. Um, so I'm going to leave about a two to three mil gap between the tape and the flange itself. So as you'll see here, try and leave a nice, you want to spend time getting this right because um, you don't want your Max Air's sealed job to look like a dog's breakfast. I'm gonna go around and follow suit with every corner. Now I can take the flange off and start doing some gluing. Let's do it. Before we start the glue, we want to make sure that our area is completely dry and it has no kind of uh, shavings or any um, dust or anything like that. Um, so once that's all nice and clean, start gluing her up. You want to be generous with the amount of glue you give as well. You should be using anywhere from one to one and a half tubes of sealant. We absolutely pepper them just so it gets rid of any chances of a leak anywhere down the track. It is a good forearm workout as well. Um, you will notice absolute gains during the process. Now we can get the flange on, start screwing all the uh, points back in. Let's do it. Once we have our glue laid out, we we'll chuck our flange in and start screwing it off. Always remember, metal clips to the sides. So we get that in nice, like that. Depending on what uh, sealant you use, um, it might be a little bit hard to push down, but pretty much, just let your screws do the talking. Once you start, you don't want to over tighten, you kind of, you will feel it a little bit tighter on the drill. Um, so you just let it go to where it needs to go and just let it stop. Don't just like absolutely pepper it. Um, again, I'm gonna do all my corners. See there, you kind of feel it. It's hard to explain, but. And you want the glue to absolutely ooze everywhere. You don't want there to be any kind of holes that you can still see. And if there is, you want to get your glue and pepper it a bit more. Um, so now I'm going to go through, put all my screws in, and then we can start cleaning this glue up. no gaps in any of your glue uh, and then you just kind of want to use your finger and start spreading it a little bit um, just kind of push in against the, the gap um, and then once we've kind of pushed in everywhere we can lift all our tape and then we can do our final kind of dressing of it um, so yeah I'm gonna start pushing in lifting up do what we want to do Now 
going to start just dressing up the edges and making it look schmick. So this will just take time um, and yours might not look the same, but as long as the glue's there uh, and you follow the steps with the screws, you won't have any dramas with your Max Air. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through and start making the edges look Once your glue's all looking nice, we can chuck our Max Air on. Um, so what I'm going to do here is use the manual lifting mech here and just have it set to open and you'll hear it'll kind of like clonk out. And this is so we can access these screw points here. So what I'm going to do now is put it on like so. Might be a bit of fluffing about just to try and get it all clipped in. But once it is, we can clip it on, it's looking good. We can screw it off and then the Max Air is done. All we need to do is wire it up and turn it on. So when we're putting the screws in, um, you'll notice down here, it's probably a bit hard to see on the camera, but you'll push down and you'll see the metal clip and you'll see kind of the circle where the screw needs to go into. Um, so you want to put a bit of weight down on the Max Air, not on the top, so you don't want to put any pressure on those arms. Um, so when we're putting it in, yeah, you just want to look for that kind of Little hole and, and screw it off. You'll kind of know straight away, you'll feel it when the uh, screw goes in. Uh, put it away. It's easy as that. I'm gonna follow through and do the rest. So once we have the max there on um, and we've got our cables through, everything's nice, we can lift this back down feeling nice and sturdy it's in there i usually grab my glue we do here at south coast vanford out some people don't it's up, completely up to you uh, and we just go through and patch all the screw holes so just like so and we just go through and follow suit with all the screws okay guys so this is something uh we prepared a little bit earlier uh, we're going to put the garnish on the Max Air. Uh, we just thought that we already had a van with a Max Air in it. We thought we'd bring you to this as the ceiling's in. We can show you um, how it looks with the ceiling in. Uh, these are the lugs that we speak about. Um, as you can see, uh, positive black is to red, white is to black. Uh, these will come with a little uh, sticker saying negative and positive. Um, also, if you're not confident with electrical just get someone a professional to do it um yeah you don't want to stuff around with that sort of stuff um i will show you how we put this on it is a little bit awkward sometimes so this guy just goes up you just got to get it in the right spot slides up in there like that we get our drill we've pre-drilled the holes already and this gets screwed. Uh, when connecting the Max Air to power, uh, you will hear it beep. Uh, that means it's got the power supplied to it. Uh, once you get your remote, you can just go and turn it on. Look at that. The Max Airs also do come with an auto temperature. Uh, it, the green light will turn on. Um, so say you can set it to, I think it comes factory set at 26 degrees. Uh, if you're in the shops, the van gets hot, the Max Air will actually turn on uh, when the van inside gets to 26 degrees, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, we really like that. Keeps the van cool when you come back from happy. Last but not least, uh, I'll talk about some of the settings on the Max Air remote, uh, like I stated at the start of the video. Um, these are our different speeds here. So we'll turn the Max Air on. Uh, right now we're at 10 cent speed. Then we're just gonna keep going up 20, 30, 40, 50, up, up, up. A little way to 100, so that's our 10 speeds we have there. Uh, the Max Air is also on the out mode right now. 
and it's going down. As you can feel, you guys can't feel, but I can feel. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a good bit of ventilation going on here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, Max Air's installed. If you've got the right tools for the job, anybody can do it. It's super easy. You just gotta take it slow. Uh, as we say, measure 15 times, cut once. It's just take it slow. You, you, you'll be able to do it. It's all good. You've got this. You've got this. <laughs> um, hope you like this video. Um, brought to you by us, South Coast Bands, and also Outback Equipment. Shout out to them. Um, and yeah, hope you like it. If you like the video or you want to know a bit more, leave a comment down below. Um, and Outback Equipment and ourselves will get back to you guys. Um, Go ahead and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Uh, follow both our socials if you want to know a bit more. And um, yeah, if you want to buy one of these Max Airs, go to their website, outbackequipment.com.au. Let's do it. <laughs>